I'm gonna try to make a gentle comparison here. So if you haven't seen this, this is a Thomas Jefferson's Garden Book, obviously, the title. This is a book, I got this, I don't know, a few years ago, and I, I've been reading it, and one of the things, if you, this was a map of his garden, and it says it here, um, I think it was 1774, and then he goes in and, and he talks about, you know, what he planted, and wh where he got it, and just a lot of information of his garden. And then as you get into this, there's a lot about Jefferson, and then there's some journal entries and things that he writes about and stuff that he likes and, and how it goes. And when you when you read a book like this, especially with all the time we have right now, you know, I'm, I'm at home right now, um, I think most of you are, it makes you wonder about, you know, all those extra things in your life that pull from you. I mean, just sitting down and spending 20 minutes while everyone in your family's eating lunch, sitting outside, you know, and lawn chairs on a porch. Most people don't even get that during the day. But this right here, you know, when the kids are taking their classes and I'm in between, I'm out here sitting in my garage reading this, you know, after walking the dogs, and it makes me reflect, like, when I do my garden book, this is obviously nothing as pretty. It's just, it's an old military book, so there's records on it. And I tore up the, the one page that I had on it. So, anyways, as you see, I, I wrote in here different trays that I did. And what the reds, they didn't work, green did work. This is a lot of this has to do with hydroponics. And then as I went through, see I'm not even that far into it. That's why I'm, this was the last tray I did, but this was all the stuff that worked. Red Russian kale, uh, red vein sorrel, musculin mix, um, watercress, arugula, and this uh, a lettuce mix, like salad mix. And then I actually drew out my garden bed. And my wife was like, boy, that's pretty nerdy, but it comes in handy, you know, like, this is what behind my garage looks like. You know, this is the edge of my garage. Garden bed that doesn't have anything separated. Two different garden beds. These are steps that come down. Planted some wildflowers over here. I planted some stuff down along this little edge. This is all a wall right here. And this is, you know, the one flat spot we have. And then over here, I even just kind of gorilla garden this with a bunch of seeds, wildflowers, cucumbers, and squash and stuff like that. You can hear the kids out there screaming and yelling. That's what they do. And, and then I, I went through it. And basically, small garden by small garden, I started writing in what it is, and I drew it out. Like, this is a garden bed that faces north, so this is up along the garage, and as it goes down, what's growing there? And honestly, I, I wouldn't have put the time into this if I didn't have an entire day of, of working. And the funny thing about working, man, if you <laughs> if you get to the point like, man, I don't understand how I ever had time to do this stuff. Like, I, oh, I could never get it done. Well, then you're working too hard. Or maybe you're just having a lot of fun. But for me... I kind of slowed down and I started putting a little more effort into the few things that I am doing and taking better care of that. And that's what I'm enjoying about it right now is I, I'm actually seeing the fruits of my labor much more than before. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. So if, you know, the whole point of this back to when people didn't have cell phones, they didn't have TV, they had to write letters. They actually enjoyed their glass of wine with other people. So, um, that's it, man. There's more to come. I have more projects. It's nowhere near as good of a book, but it's the start of mine. So take it easy. Have a good day.